Dekat angkasa ada satu satellite Dia mencetak matahari Ada banyak solar filter So dia boleh tengok matahari tu warna yang berbeza-beza It's a kingdom of Thailand. Okey, okay. Assalamualaikum Dan selamat petang semua Betul, selamat petang, apa khabar semua Alhamdulillah, akhirnya kita ke udara semula Setelah berapa hari ni? <laughs> Baru dua hari Baru dua hari? Hari, dua hari. Oh, hari, hari ketiga Hari hari ketiga, wow. rakan macam dah lama kan uh, Kita uh, tak sedap, ke Saya seronok baca komen ni kat sebenarnya Kat komen ni adik-adik kita ni ada tengah sekolah katanya Ada yang tengah korik, apa, korikulum oh, Tak tahu wow, lah, dah start betul. korikulum <laughs> Dia, <laughs> Ada yang terperanjat, wow, background baru <laughs> uh, dan ada tanya kenapa buat petang? Uh, petang ni agak uh, unik sangat-sangat kerana kita nak betul. ada satu majlis yang istimewa Kita akan kongsikan uh, Abang apa khabar yeah, kami betul, semua betul. sihat? Sihat Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Terima kasih kerana bersama dengan <laughs> dengan kami Okey, jadi sebenarnya kita nak buat petang ni Kita apa yang kita uh. nak bawakan kepada masyarakat kepada adik-adik kita kepada semua yang menonton kita pada petang ni. Petang ni kita ada satu sesi yang istimewa di mana 30 minutes yang pertama ni kita akan ada Betul. satu sesi bual bicara dengan kita kata orang-orang hebat lah di dalam bidang space technology di dalam bidang yang akan menyemarakkan lagi bidang uh, apa new ex, new space economy ni. Uh, dan kita akan startkan dengan beberapa panel yang akan bersama dengan kita sebelum Betul. tiga setengah je kejap lagi adalah kemuncak bermulanya majlis gitu. Betul. Kita kita sebenarnya pun tak sabar kerana ini merupakan satu titik langkah yang uh, hebat dan juga istimewa kerana kita akan menyaksikan sesuatu perubahan dalam negara kita untuk industri 
peti angkasa negara. Okey, wow. Saya, saya nak ambil peti lah. Adi, kita punya rakan kita lah. Orang kuat kita, Captain Muin dekat sini. Oh. Ada makan-makan tak? <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Okey, orang kuat mengangkat udara. Makan-makan sendiri yang berhad. <laughs> Makan-makan sendiri yang berhad. Okey. Terima kasih, Captain. Okey, jangan lupa kongsikan Captain kepada rakan-rakan pengangkat kita seluruh Malaysia, adik-adik kita. Uh, rakan-rakan ramai kan? Okey, ya, uh, ya. untuk apa ni macam-macam. Okey, kita akan tahu apa yang kita nak bicarakan hari ni. Kita nak bicarakan pasal new space economy atau kita panggil sebagai ekonomi yang ekonomi angkasa baru. Ha, apa tu? Betul. Hmm, yang baru yang kita nak tengok kejap lagi. Okey, saya rasa kita tak, tak perlu lama kita nak bercakap bersama. Kita nak jemput kita punya panelis kita, ni. kita yeah. nak jemput mereka. Kita okay, perkenalkan uh, dahulu mereka semua kan? Ya, yeah, ya yeah, betul. Kita dah kita akan di ruang Betul, okay, mereka semua dah berada di ruang lobby. Okey, silakan, silakan. Ah, kita jemput dulu. Ah, lagi kita ada seorang lagi kan? Okey. 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 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh semua. Okey, kita nak perkenalkan dulu. Kita ada bersama kita Azim, kita tag turn eh boleh kan? Azim ada boleh, boleh. Okey. Uh-huh. Kita ada pertama bersama dengan kita uh, Professor Major Dr. Muhammad Haridun. Ah, uh, mana Dr. Haridun boleh angkat tangan uh, untuk kenalkan Akhir dia. Terima kasih. Uh, Major, okay. Seterusnya Azim. Seterusnya kita ada bersama kita adalah Profesor IR Dr. Al-Khalid bin Haji Osman, Deputy Chief Scientist Sarawak Multimedia, Multimedia Authority. Selamat datang Prof. Terima kasih. Terima kasih sama-sama. Okay. okay. Yang ketiga kita ada Dr. Abdul Khair bin Anwar daripada Department of Electronics Engineering Faculty of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Universiti Tun Hussein on Malaysia. Wow. Okey oh, apa khabar? Selamat datang. Selamat datang. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Ah, ah, sama-sama. <laughs> nak jumpa masuk rumah tak boleh. <laughs> Kita jumpa. <laughs> Dekat atas langit je hari ni. <laughs> betul lah. Betul dia. <laughs> betul. Okey yang okay. terakhir ni. Dan yang terakhir kita ada bersama kita adalah Encik Abdul Qayyum Ali Din iaitu Chairman of Startup Borneo Datmai. Selamat datang yeah. Encik Qayyum. Ah, tu dia. Oh, wow, ada duduk dalam betul. satu kamera ada dua orang eh dekat situ kita ada meja Hamid ah, dan ah, ada ah, ah, dan juga siap ada kayu. Ha ah, okey. Ha ah, ha. Ah. Wow, hebat. Kita ada team apa tu orang-orang yang hebat bersama dengan kita hari ni. Jadi kita kejap lagi okay. kita akan temu bual mereka tentang beberapa topik yang saya rasa sangat menarik dan mungkin ni beberapa kali uh, kita cuba ketengahkan uh, tema new Mengenai. space Betul. New Space yes. Economy. Ah. Jadi sebelum kita start, uh, mungkin Jafi hadir kita nak kongsikan dulu satu video sebelum kita start <laughs> interview bersama mereka. Betul. Jadi sebelum kita interview bersama dengan ahli panel kita, kita tengok dulu video tentang New Space Economy kita ni. Okay. Volume dia slow eh? Dia ada slow okay. Sebentar je volume dia slow ya? Ni check sebentar Okay Sambil-sambil tu kita, saya akan bacakan lah kita ada komen-komen di sini yang saya kata mereka dah in, uh, bersangat, uh, sangat-sangat minat dah dalam bidang angkasa ni antaranya soalan daripada Muhammad Imran katanya nak tanya bidang yang kami perlu bidang, nak tanya bidang yang perlu kami masuki semasa universiti untuk angkasa uh, mereka dah tanyakan wow. soalan-soalan sebegitu wow, wow, wow. Uh, tak apa, okay, sekejap baik. lagi kita akan huraikan ok baik, okay. Uh, video dah ini kita tengok video New Space Economy alright silakan The space economy is going to grow from around $350 billion today to a base case of approaching $1.1 trillion by 2040, a bull case of $1.7 trillion. I am Adam Jonas, Managing Director, Equity Research. A number of developments have increased the economic capacity and viability of the space economy. The biggest is satellite broadband, which improves access to the internet that otherwise would not be there. It can essentially turn on a continent. In our lifetimes, we will see significant advancements in space as a domain for exploration, commerce, internet, scientific study that can make the Earth something that our children and our grandchildren can inherit 
what is that next Neil Armstrong moment, that one small step for man moment? My eight-year-old says, the only thing bigger than the universe is my imagination. I'm Adam Jonas. We are Morgan Stanley. Okay. Baik. Baik, uh, kita dah tengok tadi sedikit sebanyak tentang uh, new space economy dan dia punya potensinya yang terlalu besar dan luas jadi saya percaya negara kita pun tidak patut ketinggalan untuk menceburi dan menerokai uh, bidang uh, new space economy yang baru ni Okey, jadi kita nak mulakan sesi kita pada petang ni Hazim kan? Okay. Tak dengar tu, ngut tu Cepat sendiri pula. Okey tak apa. Okay. Kita mulakan dengan orang yang pertama. Ha, kita nampak ah. dah ready berbaju biru tu. Meja Haridun. Kita akan interview okay. bersama beliau dulu. Ah, Okey. Mungkin saya okay. akan uh, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. I'm Associate Professor Major Dr. Muhammad Haridun. I am an affiliate officer at the Malaysia Civil Defence Force. I'm also an Associate Professor at University of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysian Institute of Aviation Technology. Uh, I'm involved in aviation search and rescue. We do search and rescue mission and operation all over the world, uh, especially in Europe, Japan, and Australia. Uh, you may ask, uh, what does space technology has to do with uh, search and rescue operation? Um, I'll give you an example. If we have a ship or we have an aircraft in distress, that ship or that aircraft has an ELT, which is an electronic located transmitter, emergency located transmitter that will send and transmit a distress signal to the satellite and that satellite will relay that information back to the ground station. And the ground station would deploy search and rescue team. And that search and rescue team would go all over the places, exact location, approximate location to search for the ship and also to search for the aircraft. And the data we receive from the satellite also encompasses wind data, the trajectory of the wind, uh, the magnitude of the wind, the direction of the wind, we also have data of the sea waves of the ocean, uh, what is the magnitude of the sea wave, how high is the wave, and we coalesce all of those information, we interpret, we analyze this information, and we combine with the information that we gain from the ship and also from the aircraft. And with that, we can triangulate where is the approximate point of that distressed ship or the, of that distressed aircraft. So that's where space technology comes in. So we use extensively satellite for our search and rescue operation. Um, I'm also involved in parabolic flight. So we do that in Japan over the uh, coastal uh, city of Nagoya in Japan. Uh, you, we use the airspace of Japan. Uh, so what we do is that we fly the aircraft at certain altitude and we dive down, we descend down at certain altitude as well. And we have a flight profile that goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It's like a roller coaster in flight. And during that, transmission of flight, uh, we have microgravity and also hypergravity condition. So during those conditions, me and my team actuate microgravity experimentation. Um, I'll give you an example, the experimentation that we have done. Uh, we actually measure the rate of transversing of moisture from one point to other point of three materials, three fabrics. And when we compare those materials, uh, the rate of transfer all of these condition, the microgravity condition, uh, the 1G condition, and also the hyper con uh, hypergravity condition, the data is different. So that's really exciting. So we know that the rate of transfer of moisture is different at 1G, the rate of transfer of moisture is different at um, hyper-G, and the rate of transfer of moisture is different during micro-G. Okay, right, so wow. Okay. wow. Nice. That's, that's really wow. amazing. Yeah. Uh, with your involvement in SAR, uh, Search and Rescue Mission, I heard about the triangulation of how or where to find the aircraft or ship, something like that. But uh, I have a question for you before we go uh, for the next one. Uh, actually, we have some uh, comments from our YouTube uh, comment here. They said that when we talk about new space economy, some of them already replied, I want to be an astronaut. So, my question right. is uh, to Major Haridun, in your opinion, what is the best way to change the perspective of the public towards this space industry? Because when we talk about space, people will think about being an astronaut, going to uh, international space station and something like that. So in your opinion, uh, Major. Okay, no, before, before, Major, before you start, okay, you only have two minutes, <laughs> two minutes yeah. before we can give you to explain about it. Can you? Okay. Yeah. Only two minutes. Okay. All right, I think we'll start with, with the education. Uh, you have to tell the public, you have to tell the masses, you have to tell the school kids that uh, 
in space, it's not only about astronauts, it's about the team members. When you send someone to space, it's about the engineering, it's about the vehicle to send someone to space. Who built that vehicle? The designer that designed the vehicle, the designer that designs the rocket, the engineer that put together all of these components to build the rocket to send the astronaut to space. So it's not only about the astronaut, it's also the people in the pyramid, the people at the base, in the middle, at the top. So all of these are involved in the space industry. Those that build, those that design the rocket, those that build the components, the subcontractor, those that do the environmental studies, where you launch the rocket, you launch the rocket in the sea, you launch the rocket at this land, at this location. Well, what is the environmental impact? So all of those are actually involved in the space industry. So we have to build the ecosystem. When we build the ecosystem, then only you have that transverse of knowledge across the skill field that says, so space is not only about astronaut, it's about the economy, it's about the environmental, it's about designing rocket. So that's it for me. Two minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Major. All right. Yeah, I, I think it's fine. that one is very comprehensive, so we can understand that we need the ecosystem to help our uh, space economy boost. All right, now we go to our second panelist. Uh, Professor Prof. Al-Khalid. Uh, yeah. Ah, Prof. Dr. Al-Khalid. All right. Yes, okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. How are you? Okay. Fine, thank you. Um, <laughs> Great, great. Okay, so the questions for you is about uh, locality. Um, what do you think the impact of uh, local human capital development with the emergence of this new industry? Okay, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate the Civil Dynamic uh, together with uh, the government agencies and other stakeholders in conducting this forum is very good, excellent, uh, which is, I believe, that is creating awareness among the our people in Malaysia. Uh, especially we are in the Sarawak, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and I also believe this is just a beginning of the new scope, the new yeah. industry yeah. that we want to explore. The space industry is just uh, economic, uh, you know, development, future development. All right, uh, through this uh, imagine of uh, industry, uh, definitely is going to give a high impact to the human capital development. The space industry itself uh, comprise uh, specialized MIP, yeah, specialized job ranging from engineer to marketing, as mentioned by Professor, I forgot the name, yeah, Professor from uh, uh, what is the our first speaker just now was Professor Major Harry, Major Harry, Major Haridon, yeah. Major Haridon, yeah. Uh, I think he, uh, I, I agree with him uh, one hundred percent about the the ecosystem of the you know, uh, the uh, the job uh, created in future. Uh, again, uh, the majority of people working in the space sectors have uh, must have the knowledge of science and mathematics or technology and also engineering, uh, which is STEM, basically. Yeah? Uh, again, uh, the dominant job category or human capital development itself it start from maybe from the designing manufacturing operating space like what he yeah. did mention and uh, and then we are working on on that yeah in especially in malaysia we still uh, have has a low number of stem and tvet especially mm -hmm. uh, but it can be uh, managed uh, with the support from the industries and the support from the government yeah okay Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. All right then. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Yeah. So we can see. We we hope that uh, our local yeah. people soon will uh, join and participate in this uh, economy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We move that. on uh, uh, for our okay. next. <laughs> okay. So we're going to share a little information about the server dynamic, right? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Technology is the crown jewel of sustainable business solutions. Better technology leads to more efficient production processes that minimize waste and further optimize the entire production chain. But let's not forget that behind every groundbreaking innovation are pioneering individuals that forge new paths for us. Servodynamic is powering sustainability by investing in technology and talent all over the world. Serva's almost $2 billion investment in Abu Dhabi Block 7 Innovation Hub will create a hotspot for world-class talent and technology. Mm -hmm. By investing in technology and talent, Serva Dynamic is driving innovation to new heights. 
enabling sustainability and safeguarding the future of the planet. <laughs> wow. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. That's a, a glimpse <laughs> intro about uh, our, one of our, we say it as collaborators <laughs> or our organizer. Yeah, organizer for this yeah. event. Okay. So that's cool. So oh. you can see our uh, office, office. And I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I have to prepare for my 3.30 event. I need to wear my flight suit. Sorry about that. I need to put my, my makeup. Wow. <laughs> cool. Thank cool. you very cool. much. Uh, thank you, Professor. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Professor. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Major. See you in a bit. Bye, Major. See you in a bit. Bye, See you in a bit. Excellent. You know, <laughs> that is the excellent, what do you call it, the human capital that we have. You know, <laughs> he's, he's uh, the one that yeah, we are looking for. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, indeed. So we cool, need to eh? have a few more measures. Like major, uh, yeah. Yeah. all right. Uh, thank you, um, Prof. Kali. Uh, we are uh, moving to the next, yeah. yeah. We are moving to the next yeah. panel. Uh, it's already pre ready in our lobby now. Thank you so much, Prof. Uh, we hope to see you uh, in the next session. Thank you so much. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, so just now we just watched a video about Cyberdynamic and I think now we are going to ask we about uh, university involvement with Dr. Abu Khair Anwar. Okay, Dr. how are you, Dr? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. So, yeah, representing university, um, how do you see Malaysia in this new space economy and how your university, uh, our universities contribute to this new market? Okay, so I turn to the uh, First of all, we need to um, uh, we need to understand the the shifting in uh, focus uh, in, in space. So previously, space is being monopolized by big governments. Okay, you have the NASA and and Russian, the JAXA, the ESA, and now uh, the the focus is now moving towards private partnership. It means uh, industries are beginning to become. Uh, part of uh, space and we have for example uh, SpaceX by Elon Musk which are uh, taking over the, the, the task of uh, sending goods to the international space stations. So, so most of the space activities are now no longer uh, being uh, dictated by government but rather by private institutions. So uh, the new space economy basically we are moving towards uh, uh, I mean, no longer government involvement in in uh, creating or, or expanding the wealth of of uh, industries involved in space uh, in space, mm -hmm. and in in the part of university, I think uh, emphasis has to be given to to courses or topics on space, and and more research need to be done, uh, particularly on uh, manufacturing of space equipments. And we are uh, having partnerships with industries uh, to further develop uh, all those uh, uh, high technology yeah, on, on space technologies. Eh? And, and I think uh, we need to kind of like uh, give interest to students to involve in, in space. Eh? And from, in my uh -huh. case, I, I started, uh, I started uh, working in space in I think 2000, 2001 when I started, when I did my, my master's degree and I had the chance to go to UK and during that time I had the chance to work with the European Space Agency. So that, that uh, I mean, kind of like um, further my interest in, in space and that is what I think university should do. Right? Uh, get more students to get involved in space. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's really great. Okay, Doctor. Uh, uh, before that, I I think I need to ask you uh, regarding your involvement in university and also about this future collaboration. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm being uh, speaking or questioning from behalf of our participant or our our audience here. Most of them are students. Most of them are 
primary or secondary school students or might be oh, there's right. university students here. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, uh, as a as a university, how can uh, our, our IPTA involvement uh, can spark interest among uh, our audience here, especially the young generations that going to further their, their study? And we hope that uh, what is your opinion on they need to further their study in STEM uh, field, for example? Okay, uh, I think a few uh, work has been done by universities. For example, uh, UITM and USM has already launched, launched uh, small satellites being built by uh, students. So that gives this, the, the opportunity to students to get involved directly in, in space industry. So we learn how to basically um, build, you know, launch uh, all the process in, in launching and all the things that you need to consider once the, the, the spacecraft is in space. Uh, the space itself is very fragile, oh, not fragile, it's it's a very hostile environment. It's a very hostile environment. Mm -hmm. So you have lots of uh, radiation, for example, and, and stuff coming from the sun. So it's all going to be, uh, you know, uh, it's all going to need a lot of people doing research uh, on the effects of that on satellites. Eh? And uh, the astronaut program that is uh, one of the programs that I think uh, create great interest in students eh, to become an in, to become an astronaut. Uh, so okay. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I, I think our our participants from universities and from uh, primary or secondary school. What we need to do now is to show them, okay, we have the facilities right now. All the lectures are ready to receive you guys to so come on and join the university. Yes, and yes. Be yeah. part of the community and yeah. build the nation uh, space technology. All right. Now you're Thank you so much, to, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, for your okay. involvement in our session today. Thank you so much. We hope to see you uh, after this. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so All much. right. So now we are going to uh, Mr. Abdul Qayyum, Chairman for Startup yeah. Borneo.my. Okay, how are you, Mr. Qayyum? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Thank you yeah, I can see the energy is there. I, I think this is a good uh, time to celebrate the collaboration for the uh, space. All right, Mr. Qayyum. Um, yeah, you are part. Of, you are the Chairman yeah. for the Startup Borneo, and people are thinking about. What is your role in this new space agenda? Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Hafiz. Uh, pretty much, uh, new space economy is a very important initiative. Uh, since a few very important points highlighted by a few of our panels just now, I would uh, again echo and highlight that uh, this uh, today is a very significant day for your, especially for our country. Uh, and this establishment uh, between industry in space technology, uh, like uh, Cyber Dynamic and agencies and uh, public sector, public uh, sector like uh, my, uh, my Malaysian Space Agency, uh, this is a very big move and uh, important for youth, especially and the next generation, to participate in this so-called new space economy. And uh, new space economy uh, uh, is uh, going to create a lot more opportunity. Uh, most low, for example, uh, projected in his theory that semiconductor will double every year, meaning electronics, satellite, communication will be very much affordable. And uh, youth and the next generation should participate in this sector and uh, take advantage in this new opportunity and new economy. And uh, from our previous panelists, uh, we have uh, they have highlighted that most of our uh, young people are young uh, should start to look into this area. And uh, I believe uh, from our uh, participation in startup, in many uh, development of new product and new idea like application, most of these are using new technology and in, uh, an industrial revolution 4.0 is real and it's coming now today. Thank you very much. All right. Um, wow. Well, precise and comprehensive okay thank you uh mr kayu for the uh, answer uh, our main event at super digital x Facebook. yes okay yeah, cool. we're going to thank watch you. it after this yeah yes okay i think they already started right now 
So we're going to okay. bring our session to the real big collaboration that going to happen yeah. right now. Okay, so I think you can use it because we have a lot of students right now here in our comment section. Boleh lah cakap pasal isu kek, boleh comment-comment yang serius. Tak jadi orang beriman lah kat sini tulis-tulis saya baca je. <laughs> okay, jom Azim. Kita tak perlu tunggu lama-lama lah saja. Kita uh, boleh uh, naikkan feed. We're going to bring up the feed from... Sambil-sambil tu, uh, saya akan uh, melayan lah komen-komen kita. Apa, okay. adik-adik Silakan. kita ni. Dahsyat. Sangat aktif diorang ni. Ada yang minat saya design roket katanya daripada Mikael Ryan. Wow, dahsyat. Nak jadi yeah. astronaut tapi takut. Oh, jangan gitu. Kena berani. Okay, okay. okay. Sebab kan saya nampak uh, ada antara mereka dah uh, mula minat ke arah bidang ini kan. Okey, hmm. tapi sementara tu uh, kalau dah ada nanti terus upkan saja ya. Okey. Okey, jadi saya nak tanyalah pada adik-adik yang ada ni kan uh, para pelajar sekolah ya, ataupun yang bersama kita ni, apakah antara kerjaya bidang angkasa yang anda tahu selain daripada bidang kerjaya angkasawan? Ah uh, okey. Cuba uh, nyatakan pendapat anda ataupun berikan idea anda ataupun mungkin anda sih nak jadi dalam bidang kerja itu sebab anda nak jadi seorang engineer roket contohnya atau anda Atau jadi uh, engineer satelit uh. Ya yeah, macam-macam boleh jadi sebenarnya apa yang diperlukan di angkasa sama juga seperti apa yang diperlukan di Malah kita perlukan juga lawyer, kita perlukan juga polis angkasa, kita perlukan banyak lagi Okey, ada boleh cakap Polis angkasa eh? Ah, yes, <laughs> kita kita perlukan kan undang-undang. Bila ada undang-undang mesti ada orang yang apa tu memantau dia. Ah, betul. Ada <laughs> boleh bantu saya check ada bunyi ke atau ke mana? Uh, tak ada, tak ada bunyi. Tak ada. Ya? Dia, 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 dia dalam video sebelah belum ada bunyi bunyi lagi kan? Akan ini masih sunyi. Masih betulnya lagi. Okey baik. Jadi kita menantikanlah sebenarnya apa yang akan berlaku pada hari ini adalah uh, tanda tangan pros uh, kita panggil sebagai majlis kolaborasi tanda tangan ni MOU di antara Serba Dynamic Group Berhad dan juga uh, Agensi Angkasa Malaysia dan juga bersama dengan Swiss 212. Okey jadi hari ini kita merupakan hari yang bersejarah di mana Serba Dynamic akan mula memasuki era baru iaitu new space economy uh, okay, ekonomi yang begitu pesat membangun sekarang ni rata-ratanya bercakap pasal ini seluruh dunia bercakap Elon Musk begitu aktif dan semangat sekali kita yang baru-baru ni semalam pun ada Rocket Lab baru mengumumkan yang mereka akan memasuki pertandingan atau perlumbaan roket-roket gergasi wow. <laughs> betul sebelum ni mereka hanya langkah lancarkan roket-roket kecil okey kali ni mereka akan kita lancarkan kita ada ni ada ada ni roket ni kita ada Julian saya pun nak jadi engineer roket ah, katanya ah yeah. terbaik Julian tak ada dekat Malaysia okey thank betul. you Julian Julian support kami thank you so much jadi dia jawab pergi jauh sikit. Saya nak duduk kat Marih katanya. <laughs> jauh tu. That's good. Okay, maybe in your lifetime kita pun boleh tengok uh, Askar Angkasa. Oi, okay. Pertahankan bumi daripada dihentam oleh asteroid. Okay, banyak lagi. Kita nak kena jaga satelit-satelit kita, sistem komunikasi betul, kita betul. kan. Ha, jadi kita perlukan. Ha. Nak jadi engineer. Terima kasih Muhammad Imran. Alright, okay. Hmm, engineer saya... professor. Okay. Ah, alright. Dah okay. ada Facebook komen kita nak jadi kosmologis, astrofisisis. Wow, tanya Himdat. Insya-Allah yes. boleh tu. Okay, kita ada lagi tak komen-komen daripada sini? Hmm, saya akan tengok, saya akan tengok. Oh, ya ni. I want to go to Venus, the hottest planet katanya. Wah, apakah maksud tu? Ah, nak jadi hot ke? <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Ini menarik daripada Arif Ikmal, Robotics Engineer. Dia nak menjadi seorang Robotics, robotics ah. Engineer. Yes, you in it now. Okay, kita ada lagi tak? Kita masih lagi kan menunggu live di Serba yes. Dynamics X, Serba ah. Digital X kan? Okay. Betul. Sementara tu Hazim mungkin boleh buka juga satu fit lain untuk prepare in case apa-apa kan? Saya rasa belum ada suara lagi. <laughs> Okay. Mungkin okay, belum mula lagi. Okay, mungkin belum mula lagi kan? Okay, baik. Uh, tapi budak-budak ni kan? <laughs> Korang tengah kelas kan? Tapi <laughs> <laughs> ah, saya tengok. Semangat uh, ni dia orang ni. Bagus lah korang. Uh, okay, uh, kita nak ambil ni. Apa? Ace Cup Malaysia. Yes! Bangsa Angkasa. Bangsa Angkasa. Uh, Wah. Kadi tak akhir saya dengar istilah tu rasanya waktu ni. World Space Week uh, 2020 tahun lepas. 
<laughs> Betul, tahun 2020 tahun lepas kita menganjurkan program bersama dengan ya kita ada pengangkap, kita ada Astro X, kita ada Belantrium Negara, kita ada ramai lagi MIA dan sebagainya yang bersama-sama dengan kita uh, Kita banyak, ada komen juga daripada Nurul Rizal Encik Nurul, ah, Encik Nurul, ok Malaysia yang berpresented dia design to support the vehicle Ah, ok jadi ada simulator for intent fast okay, okey baik aha menarik juga information ni terima kasih cik Nurul kena kongsikan yeah. okey ada yeah, daripada uh. Muhammad Hakimi pelancongan di orbit <laughs> ah pelancongan space wow space tourism ni betul yang, yang ini betul-betul space tourism ah maknanya betul betul space pergi ke apa di pinggir bukan pinggir galaksi pinggir uh, kita kata langit lah maksudnya ah yes ada yeah. exactly. antara atmosfera tu Hai oh, okay, Captain kabar? Faiz. <laughs> Okey apa khabar? Siapa tak kenal uh, Captain Faiz merupakan uh, kita kata salah seorang calon angkasawan. Awal. Ah uh, ke, ke eh, antara yang ketiga kan yang sama-sama uh, terpilih untuk tu. Okey. Baik kita tengok yang seterusnya. Uh, saya nak bantu design hotel angkasa. Okey uh, saya nak duduk wow. nanti di kawasan. Boleh kan? <laughs> betul betul. <laughs> Boleh uh, boleh dapat eh, nanti minta ni uh, diskaun sikit. Ah uh, boleh kan boleh kan. Ah uh, okey. Rasanya kita dah bermula sambil-sambil kita bercerita tu. Ya, Rasa kita dah mula ada, ada audio dekat sekarang ni. Di papan yes, mereka. Uh, sambil-sambil tu ada adik boleh tuliskan apa lagi cerita-cerita yang ada dia nampak yang boleh kita uh, bawa. Okey. Uh, okey ni untuk Abah Hafiz ni adik kita tanya ni. Muhammad Imran apa Hafiz ambil jurusan lah. <laughs> oh, masih di sini. Aduh, macam-macam lah. Hai, okey. Itu kita cerita demo lain lah. Kita cerita pasal <laughs> lain kat sini. Saya tak nak cerita pasal tu kat sini. Boleh kan, boleh kan, boleh kan. Ah, sebab kan Abah Hafiz kata uh, dia tak nak jawab, ah, boleh ajak dia pergi ngeteh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kita nak cakap pasal space ekonomi. Belanja dia minum. Kita akan ada banyak lagi tau. Sebenarnya apa lagi akan ada banyak lagi sesi untuk bulan ini. Jangan uh, kata, nantikan, nantikan. Apa lagi akan umumkan nanti. Yeah. Ah, minta maaf banyak ya. Kemudian nanti kita akan kongsikan jawapannya. Okey, kita ada Captain Muin. Oh ni. Ha, siapa nama itu? Ha ah. Captain <laughs> nak jadi pilot kapal angkasa interplanetary liner, linear. Ah, okay, Captain tu jenama okay. baru. Apa tu syarikat penerbangan baru tu? Interplanetary liner. Wow. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah. Itu ah, boleh wasa? jadi ni lah daripada bumi ke mari eh. Ah, bumi ke jauh ke mari jauh. Boleh, boleh. Kita boleh pergi. Kalau ada teknologi yang membolehkan kita pergi dengan masa yang patah selama ni ambil masa tujuh bulan kan nak pergi kemari kan? Ya. Yeah. Kalau mungkin Jadi pakai air, ada... kita akan laju. Daripada King Tech Lab. Go Server hmm. Dynamic. Ah, ah bagus. Okay, go, go. Kita pun waiting for this, uh, yeah. orang kata apa, moment collaboration yang menunjukkan yeah. kesungguhan dan semangat Server Dynamic untuk menceburi new space economy. Uh, betul. Ini, betul. Adalah satu, ini adalah satu bidang, uh, kita kata bidang ekonomi yang baru uh, yang betul. belum lagi, kita kata belum lagi panas lagi lah uh, dan inilah hmm. detik permulaan yang korang ni korang adalah, anda semua adalah generasi korang pula, saya cakap masih hmm. lembut sikit <laughs> anda semua adalah generasi uh, generasi new space ekonomi ni Betul, uh, generasi new space ekonomi yang akan menyumbang saya, saya ada terbaca tau dalam satu artikel uh, satu report oleh ISA atau European Space Agency berkenaan dengan uh, new space economy antaranya yang maklumkan uh, bila tahun 2030 nanti kita ni atau mungkin akan mengenali angkasawan tu lebih rapat mungkin ada kawan kita, wow. mungkin ada berani kita adalah angkasawan tapi angkasawan tu bukan angkasawan yang macam kita gambarkan sekarang pergi buat kasa tidak mereka mungkin bekerja sebagai angkasawan dekat sana jadi lawyer, dekat sana mungkin jadi pelapa betulkan uh-huh. sistem apa perparentan dekat angkasa kan uh, bina oh, ini saya tak ingat cerita apa tu eh uh, big, bukan big, big stop ke apa cerita tu yang dia oh. naik ke angkasa yang dia boleh ubah uh, cuaca tu kan ramai yang terlibat kan kat situ kan betul 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 lah saya ni pun cerita pasal ada konspirasi dalam tu kan ah uh. <laughs> itulah uh-huh. the big stop okay. saya yang ada perkataan stop tu je betul betul kita ada komen daripada facebook ni syam adullah Serba hmm. dynamic, serba boleh. Ah, okay. ya, Facebook betul-betul. ni nama dynamic tu. Dynamic tu mean memang orang kata apa pantas, nama cepat berubah. Ah, kan dia bersifat dynamic. Oh ni. 
Oh, Joe Storm. Storm. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. Okay. Ingatkan kami petang-petang ni. Okay, Hakimi pun ada maklumkan juga. Thank you, Hakimi. Joe Storm. Kami ni petang-petang ni. Dia kalau aku cakap stop ni kat Kuala Lumpur ni bahaya petang-petang ni. <laughs> Jangan banjir ya. Ah, okay, saya ada perasaan juga tadi Abang Fiz. Kita ada komuniti ah. yang uh, antara adik-adik kita ni dah register untuk menjadi komuniti volunteer apa di langit iaitu komuniti sekolah dalam apa di langit, percuma je pendaftaran je insyaAllah siapa yang dah daftar, anda akan uh, dimasukkan ke dalam komuniti tersebut dalam masa terdekat Bawa sabar ya Saya dah naikkan kita punya penasihat lah sebenarnya Haa ah, dah tu Saiful Dr. Saiful kerana bersama dengan apa di langit pada petang ini uh, Terima kasih atas nasihat dan sokongan Dr. kepada apa di langit Kami masih lagi menantikan kalau ada lagi nasihat dan juga maklum balas yang membangun untuk kami. Okey, terima kasih. Daripada dia ni, uh, Alia ni. Bang, kenapa tak jadi angkat sawan? Uh, <laughs> nak nak uh, nak tanya kat siapa ni? Abang Azim okay. ke pada Abang Fiz? <laughs> Okey, kita jawab dulu. Adik nak jawab dulu ke saya nak jawab dulu? <laughs> abang Fiz jawab dulu. Silakan. Okay. Kalau lah abang jadi angkat sawan, adik-adik tak jumpa abang sekarang ni tengah buat live ni. <laughs> mungkin jumpa ke buat live dekat dekat ISS ke ataupun dekat ah, bulan ke ha mungkin okay, okay. lah. tapi Adi ada delay sikitlah probability <laughs> <laughs> nothing is nothing is impossible kan ha tu dia tanya dia tanya dua-dua okey so i think oh, jawab <laughs> <laughs> okey jawapannya sabar ha. sabar ha. azim ha. abang azim nak tanya kau nak jangan kasau berani ke dengan roket <laughs> Apalah kita duduk di bumi dah. Kita duduk di ah. bumi. <laughs> kita kerja belakang tabir. Kita membantu ah. orang yang nak pergi pergi ke angkasa ni. Tak boleh kat angkasa oh. nanti tak, tak ada makan makanan yang sedap. <laughs> oh iyalah. Angkasa semua makan dalam tu kan? <laughs> makan dalam apa kata? Ah, paket tu. Hmm. Oh saya tengok makan paket tu kan kita pergi Jepun dulu ingat tak kan? Makan apa tu yes. nasi bulan ni <laughs> Itu dalam paket je Sampai satu masa rasa macam alamak Tak seru tu Muak lah setiap hari makan paket uh, okay. okay Kita ada daripada Noria Abdullah Bagaimana nak daftar community volunteer Okay Caranya mudah okay. saja Pergi ke website apa di langit www.apadilangit.com Di situ di tab bar atas tu Anda just tekan community Klik di situ dan tekan pada read more ataupun no more tentang community dan di situ ada borang pendaftaran. No more eh bukan N O eh no and K N O W. K N O W. Okey kita ada adik Nur Kaisara ni kongsikan. Abang saya ni scientist wow. astrobiology. Wow, menarik ha, sangat. Ya, menarik. Ni, ni dapat inspirasi daripada mana? Nak jadi as- uh, ahli astrobiology ni. Adakah daripada sesi kita dulu bersama Dr Kundan Kadap ke? Ah, kan mana tu tadi dapat inspirasi ni kita, kita boleh sampaikan pada doktor kan doktor uh, yeah. we have a student here from Malaysia that inspired by you want to be astrobiologist yeah. why uh, not why not uh, i think he will be yes. happy okey kita tak ada syarat umur ya untuk jadi volunteer cuma janganlah semua setahun <laughs> umur berapa boleh <laughs> jadi volunteer ah uh, dari pelajar sekolah rendah sekolah menengah apa yang anda ada yeah. untuk sumbangkan kita akan kita akan yeah. buat apa tu pengumuman nanti dalam satu dekat Okay. Ni kek daripada Kakek Farish Cita-cita saya nak jadi angkas sawan Angkas ah, sawan, terima kasih Kakek Farish yes. yes, okay Hari ni Dr. Azhar, ya ni terima kasih Dr. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dah boleh niat beliau, dah boleh niat uh, Orang hebat ni sebenarnya uh, Boleh belajar dengan beliau Kalau siapa nak jadi uh, aerospace engineer Okay beliau, kita boleh pergi Tanya beliau, okay uh, Pergilah like yes. atau follow <laughs> Dr. Azhar ya Okey, terima kasih doktor. Okey, kita ada banyak dekat sini. Um, saya dah okay. tak fikir apa-apa sini. Ada yang duk kata apa makan potato, potato. Daripada tadi dia duk komen ni rupa ah, dia. Oh, pasal The Martian tu. Dia teringat pasal The Martian tu. Okey, baiklah. Saya tak nak timbulkan isu tu. <laughs> isu kita pada plan adalah new space economy ya. Ah, cuba nyatakan pendapat anda. Tadi kita dah bacakan sebesar sikit apakah antara kerjaya dalam bidang angkasa. Selain yang anda minat, selain angkasawan Okay, apa dia? Yeah. Uh, tu, inspirasi dari sesi yang saya setai Semua sesi apa lagi yang saya tak pernah terima miss kasih. Wah, terima kasih banyak-banyak Hmm, okay, kita ada ada yang tanya Mana kat sini, banyak sangat Haa, lah turun laju sangat Okay, haa, bang saya sebenarnya nak masuk bidang pilot Jadi kena belajar semua ni ke? Haa, <laughs> okay Nanti kita akan 
kita akan tengok nanti kan nanti untuk kerjaya dalam bidang aerospace, kerjaya dalam bidang angkasa kita akan tunjukkan sedikit demi sedikit ya okey. Jadi tak pilot apa okay. yang ada. Ramai pilot yang dalam ni juga yang terlibat bukan sekadar pilot je. Pilot pun perlukan ekosistem dia. Uh, aerospace perlukan ekosistem. Kalau tak nak jadi pilot yang, yang tukang bawa pilot kapal terbang, boleh jadi engineer. Ah uh, boleh jadi macam-macam okay. dekat situ. Okey. Mak oh, saya suka yang ni. Saya tak pernah nampak lagi tiba-tiba ada. Ha, uh, tet lak tet ro ro. Jason, thank you Jason. Cerita-cerita saya nak jadi arkitek yang bina bangunan di Mare. Wow, wow tiga tet. Wow, oh, ataupun macam mana? Tinggi uh, dia punya satu cerita-cerita yang besar. Tak mustahil, tak mustahil sebab manusia uh, memang ke arah itu sekarang ni. Maksudnya nak membina uh, penempatan di planet Mare. Dan kita lihat kita siapakah kita... menjadi arkitek yang pertama <laughs> mereka cipta apa tu mereka bentuk bangunan di Mare kan? Uh, betul. Kalau di Malaysia ni macam saya terlalu teringat ada uh, arkitek yang firma arkitek yang terkenal contohnya Hijaz kan. Uh, bukan Hijaz penyanyi tu tau. Uh, Hijaz. Oh bukan ya? Oh, <laughs> bukan. <laughs> uh, uh, Okey ini, ini menarik. Muhammad Imran Syamil, Muhammad Syamil. Angkasa ada ekonomi ke? Uh, uh. Ada. Okey, industri ekonomi dalam bidang angkasa ni antara yang terbesar, yang terbaju. Okey kita nampak, nampaknya macam mereka telah hampir mula Okay, sambil-sambil tu kita boleh nampak lah. Oh, okay. Wow. Jika oh. diperhatikan sebab dia kapal angkasa tu, uh, okay kita dah uh, start ni. Eh. Betul, betul, betul. Kita turunkan, turunkan. Saya tak jumpa mana komen tu. Uh. <laughs> okay. Kita ambil lah semua. Kita sama-sama saksikan sebentar lagi. I would like to welcome all Tan Sri, Datuk Sri, Datuk Datuk, Datin Datin, ladies and gentlemen. A very good afternoon to all of our guests of honor and audience from all over the world and the universe. I hope everyone is staying safe wherever you are. Thank you all and we would like to welcome you to the new space economy. Virtual collaboration between Cyber Dynamic Group Berhad and the Malaysian Space Agency, MISA. And the Memorandum of Understanding signing between Cyberdynamic Group Berhad and Swiss to 12, our strategic partner based in Switzerland. We are so grateful and appreciate you taking the time to be part of this important event today. Before we move on to the main agenda, it is my pleasure to introduce you to our gracious VIPs who will be part of this virtual event. Her Excellency Andrea Ricklin, Ambassador of Switzerland to Malaysia. His Excellency Dato Raja Reja Raja Zaib Shah, Ambassador of Malaysia to Ukraine. His Excellency Alexander Nachi Taylor. Ukrainian Ambassador to Malaysia. His Excellency Abdul Malik Melvin Castellino, Ambassador of Malaysia to Italy. His Excellency Cristiano Magipinto, Italian Ambassador to Malaysia. Yang Barusaha Tuan Haji Asli Kamil Napia, Director General of the Malaysian Space Agency. The new Chairman of the State Space Agency of Ukraine, Mr. Vladimir Tafte, Yang berbahagia, Datuk Haji Abdul Kadir Sahib, Director of Cyber Dynamic Group Berhad, and Dr. Emil De Rick, Group CEO of Swiss to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, attending virtually are our respected collaborators, strategic partners, and the bigger teams from Cyber Dynamic. Mosti, MISA, and other relevant agencies. These are important players of today's event that lend us the support and cooperation to make this event a reality. Distinguished guests, we are here today to witness the momentous occasion of Cyber Dynamic Group Berhad venturing into the new space economy with the support of the Malaysian Space Agency, MISA. Space ventures once regarded as only for the elite had now been made possible to explore by many countries since the past 20 years thanks to the extensive research and development by specific universities, private companies 
and government agencies such as NASA, ESA, SpaceX, Virgin Galactic, and so on. New Space Economy is a representation of the evolution in space sector into a new era unfolding fourth industrial revolution. Cyber Dynamic via its recently established space technology division have a vision to be the pioneering private entity from Malaysia bound to the challenge to forward trust Malaysia as a key player in space technology, both regionally and globally. In December 2019, the government established the Malaysian Space Agency through the merging of the National Space Agency and the Malaysian Remote Sensing Agency to further enhance the efficiency of delivering government services in the space sector. MISA's main mission is to strengthen the country's capabilities in the space sector as a contributor to economic growth, knowledge, and sustainable development. Cyberdynamic Group Berhad is the total integrated engineering services solution provider established 28 years ago in Bintulu, Sarawak. Its main business is in operations and maintenance, engineering, procurement, construction and commissioning, ITC solutions, and education and training. Today, the group of companies are present in 24 countries over six continents and have operational offices in Malaysia, Indonesia, UAE, India, Qatar, Switzerland, Netherlands, Italy, UK, and USA. Server Dynamic is built on technology and innovation as its foundation. Today, we see the world is moving rapidly into digitization with new innovations and technologies driving the economies. We at Server Dynamic has been leading and leveraging on this transformation to capitalize on the new businesses and new markets to stay relevant and sustainable. Our first initiative under our space technology division that will be launched soon will be creating a platform to capitalize and build our capabilities in terms of skill or professional manpower, knowledge and technology in the equipment tools, open up new businesses along the value chain and building the ecosystem within our country. Moving forward, Server Dynamic and the Malaysian Space Agency will work together to establish a legitimate new space industry in Malaysia. This is needed to support the Malaysia Space Exploration 2030, an agenda championed by the Malaysian Space Agency for the purpose of shaping an ideal new space ecosystem. Without further ado, I invite Yang Bahagia, Dato Dr. Engineer Technologist Muhammad Abdul Karim Ben Abdullah, the group CEO of Cyber Dynamic Group Berhad, to deliver his welcoming remark. Spaceport Bintulu Ground Control to Dato Karim. This is Major Haridon. Yes, Major. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Her Excellency Andrea Richelin, Ambassador of Switzerland to Malaysia. His Excellency Dato Raja Reza Raja Zaib Shah, Ambassador of Malaysia to Ukraine. His Excellency Alexander Machitailo, Ukrainian Ambassador to Malaysia. His Excellency Abdul Malik Melvin Castellino, Ambassador of Malaysia to Italy, His Excellency Cristiano Magipinto, Italian Ambassador to Malaysia, Yang Berusaha Tuan Haji Azli Kamil Napia, Director General of Malaysian Space Agency, the new Chairman of the State Space Agency of Ukraine, Mr. Vladimir Taftel. Congratulations. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Haji Abdul Kadir Sahib, Director of Cyber Dynamic Group Bahad, and Dr. Emil D. Rich, Group CEO of Swiss to Twelve, our Switzerland partner. I would like to also welcome all Tan Sri, Datuk Sri, Datuk Datuk, Datin Datin, 
and to all our guests of honor and audience, good afternoon, Malaysia, and good morning for those who are in European region. I hope everyone is staying safe wherever you are. Thank you all, and we would like to welcome you to the new space economy, virtual collaboration between Server Dynamic Group Bahat and the Malaysian Space Agency, MAISA, and the MOU signing between Server Dynamic and Swiss to Turf, our strategic partner based in Switzerland. We often see people get excited when we talk about space. So many things that seem like sci-fi are becoming more of a reality with the current technological advancements. 52 years ago, humanity first set foot on the surface of another world. In the words of Neil Armstrong, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. 14 years ago, Malaysia's first ever astronaut, Dr. Dr. Said Muzaffa, was sent to the International Space Station aboard the Soyuz TMA-11. And very recently, three probes were sent to the Red Planet with two of them actually land to pursue on the scientific mission. These events are evidence of mankind's ability to venture into space and as technology further advances in this era, greater things can be achieved. The space industry has evolved over the years. Following the terminations of a space shuttle program, then starts the new space economy era. Once the domain of the one upmanship by national governments, the so-called final frontier is fast becoming the arena of private enterprise. Space economy is the full range of activities and the use of resources that create value and benefits to human beings in the course of exploring, researching, understanding, managing, and utilizing space. The space sector has distinguishing features such as the use of cutting edge technologies and longer terms for both project development and return on investment. It is a government dominated sector as access to space is costly, involves technical risk and the viabilities of the space enable services requires large users markets. Linkage to defense is deeply rooted uh, since the very beginning of the space age as during the Cold War space activities were also a tool of political and military confrontation between USA and USSR. The above is true for all space economy that is characterized by big government programs, a few big contractors, little competition, and no growth, and usually is defense oriented. In contrast, the new space economy will have a mix of government and commercial programs, a diversity of contractors, strong competitions as exponential growth. With the initiatives from private entities to run researchers and developments of the space industry, it boosts the economic capacity and viability of the space economy. The global space economy in 2018 registered threat at 384 billion US dollar with a figure of 5.6% six years forward. Morgan Stanley projected that by 2040, the global threat of space will reach over 1.1 trillion US dollar and the trend in space economy is now dominated by the private entities with a staggering of 75%. Dub is the world's second fastest 
fastest growing sector. One of the pillars of the new space economy is satellite internet. Amazon's project Cooper announced that it will put over more than 3,000 satellites into orbit to provide high-speed internet to up to 4 billion new customers. SpaceX has started to launch and still launching their Starlink to put nearly 12,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. Facebook are realizing that it is cheaper and more efficient to beam internet to people via satellite than deploying drones. And these are just one of the many pillars of the new space economy. Malaysia, as we speak, have yet to participate in new space economy, even though the numbers of populations of more than 600 million people in Asia. For that, Malaysian Space Agency has taken the initiative via the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MOSTI. The Malaysian Space Board Bill 2020 has been tabled for its first reading last year. This bill functions to advise the government on matters pertaining uh, to the space industry. We believe Malaysia would explore the potential into venturing the new space economy. We in Cyber Dynamic fully support the initiative that will promote more private public partnership amongst the industry players. Quoting from Morgan Stanley's audio podcast, space is the disruptions of all disruptions. IT ranges from internet 2.0 to AI and FinTech new frontier. It is truly at the pinnacle of frontier technology. Internet 2.0 is a revolution to provide access for internet to the rural most unserved area. It is a pity that there are still half populations of the world that is unconnected. On AI, space is indispensable factor to catalyze the growth. For example, advances in earth imaging data will increasingly provide vital insights to help in the calculation of macroeconomic activity accurately measuring migrant flows and the impact of climate change to name a few and on the fintech it it will impact in secure global transactions across continent via decentralized platform namely blockchain this example is to name a few and the potential is limitless first in cyber dynamic we strongly believe in cutting edge frontier technology, pushing the barrier to its utmost potential and realizing all that was once a dream. And we, as we speak, doing it on other fronts of Industry Revolution 4.0. And now space is the next area that we are now exploring to bring Malaysia sovereign Hi again. Thank you very much, Datuk Karim, for the inspiring and wonderful speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of YB Ferry Jamaluddin, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, I would like to thank the Malaysia Space Agency, MISA, and Serba Dynamic Group Berhad for allowing me to be present today to deliver his keynote address. Yang berusaha Datuk Dr. IRTS Muhammad Abdul Karim bin Abdullah, Group CEO Serba Dynamic Group Berhad. Yang berbahagia, Tuan Haji Azri Kamil bin Napiah, Director General Malaysian, Director General Malaysian Space Agency MISA, Distinguished Guests, Tan Sri, Datuk Sri, Datuk Datuk, Datin Datin, Ladies and Gentlemen, please allow me to read his speech. Malaysia fully recognizes that space science and technology and its application plays a significant role towards creating a better world, 
especially in realizing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Malaysia also recognizes the benefits of space technology and its application in various sectors. I am happy to announce that we are on path to be the first ASEAN nation to produce a space bill, Rang Undang Undang Angkasa, that will regulate the space industry in Malaysia. The demand for data, images, and information obtained from satellites has transformed our space industry into something completely new. The wide usage of space technology and its application in all sectors, especially in an era of IoT and liquid data, where the usage of internet applications has become double and created huge potential for the space sector to become a major economic contributor to Malaysia. With the development of this strength, Malaysia aims to fully utilize space capabilities, towards which the Malaysian government approved the National Space Policy 2030. The National Space Policy 2030 recognizes the need for access to space capabilities to improve public services and national security. It will also be a reference in determining the directions of space sector development in Malaysia. The government understands that space activities, especially satellite communication, remote sensing, and navigation applications will have immense effects on the national economy and societal well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, as a space participant, Malaysia is seriously looking forward to its national space legislation and putting the law into practice. So the Malaysian Outer Space Act will be formulated to create clear regulations and guidelines in administering, coordinating, and monitoring space activities at all level of users, be it government agencies, industries, or individuals. With this act, the Malaysian government will be able to monitor and supervise its national space activities effectively, effectively in accordance with international law. The Malaysian government's effort will be more focused on the development of space technology, infrastructure, and applications that have an impact on safety, both economic and social, specifically in space sector arena, remote sensing, communications, and navigation. We are aware that these focus areas will contribute to critical needs such as planning and management of natural resources, weather and climate prediction, search and rescue, SAR, disaster management, infrastructure monitoring, mapping, navigation, and safety. To ensure the continuity of the space sector development, the space industry must be encouraged to grow. I look forward to seeing more Malaysians involved in outer space. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Bohomad, for the support in developing the new space industry in Malaysia. Now we will witness to Wan Haji Asli Kamil, the Director General of MISA, to hand over the letter of support to Datuk Karim of Cyberdynamic as a gesture of the Malaysian Space Agency's support towards this initiative. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. On behalf of Malaysian Space Agency, MISA, I hand over this letter of support to Serba Dynamic Group Berhad. Serba Dynamic to MISA, confirm, received. Alhamdulillah.
marks a momentous event which outlines the way forward for our nation to propel forward in this agenda. A round of applause to all. <laughs> now, let us move on to our next in the agenda, the signing of MOU between Cyberdynamic Group Berhad and Swiss to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, just a brief background on Swiss212. It is a spin-off of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, Switzerland. Swiss212 provides high-performing and versatile antenna payload products based on their mastery of addictive manufacturing technology, including 3D printing technology. Their expertise, innovative processes, and customer focus combines to make Swiss to 12 an engineering thought leader in the space sector. Cyberdynamic will be collaborating in research and development using the 3D printing technology for space application and satellite development provided by Swiss to 12. The collaboration will create industry supply chain and opportunities for the young local engineers to be trained as satellite engineers in Switzerland. I would like to invite I would like to invite Yang Bahormat, Yang Berusaha, Tuan Haji Azli Kamil Napia, Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Haji Abdul Kadir Sahib, and Dr. Peter Guggenbach from Swiss to 12 to witness the signing ceremony. Dear esteemed Datuk Karim and Dr. Emil, please, if you may sign on the iPad in front of you. Thank you very much to all the distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of our event today. Thank you very much for watching the live stream of today. We are just starting out today. There will be many more events coming out from this new space economy. So stay tuned. Thank you all to our honorable guests on behalf of Server Dynamic Management Team and Space Technology Division, I wish all the best. May these new initiatives spur and accelerate the growth and development of the country's advancement in space technology. We wish to see Cyberdynamic to be the leader in this new endeavor. Until then, stay safe always. Thank you and have a great evening. Signing off.
Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, we are back. Yes, selanjutnya dah tamat dah majlis kita ucapkan tahniah kepada Selepas Hidayah ni. Kemudian atas sokongan uh, bersama dengan Maisa. Dan juga Swiss 212. Uh, jangan lupa. Yeah. Yes, baik. Jadi kita dapat lihat tadi satu persefahaman untuk memajukan lagi industri angkasa negara kita dan inilah detik yang bersejarah yang kita lihat sebentar tadi dan kita harapkan kita harapkan uh, kita punya industri teknologi angkasa kita berkembang. Okey, baik. Dan ni ada ini apa yang anda saksikan sebentar tadi adalah bukan penamat lagi ya. Ha. Yeah. Stay tune yeah. pada 17 Mac 2021 nanti. Ha, yang yeah. tu adalah kemuncak. Kata, uh, ha, kemuncak dan apa peristiwa uh, satu lagi program yang kita akan juga bersama uh, siarkan live untuk anda insyaAllah. Yes, semestinya. Uh, dan jangan lupa kita akan bawakan nanti pada tarikh 17 tersebut. Nantikan maklumat daripada kami. Okey, kita nak recap kita. Abang Hafiz tadi memang kan? Haa, <laughs> sebab Abang Hafiz ni ramai yang tanya ni Dia nak minta Abang Hafiz cuba uh, Apakah rumusan ataupun ulasan rumusan pada Abang Hafiz sendiri mengenai uh, new, new Space Economy daripada majlis yang telah berlangsung sebentar saja tadi Haa, ok rumusan ringkas daripada apa yang kita lihat tadi ialah menunjukkan keseriusan Kita bukan lagi bercakap tentang kita mesti ada Kita mesti orang kata apa Uh, buat itu dan buat ini. Tapi sekarang kita dah ada orang yang mula membuatnya. Kita dah lihat dah satu tindakan, satu usaha sama yang sekarang tengah berlangsung di negara kita. Dan nanti ada adik yang bersama dengan kita hari ini tadi kita cakap pasal New Space Economy, uh, Malaysia Space Exploration 2030 Ya, nanti ada adik ni akan menjadi sebahagian daripada sumber tenaga kerja atau kita panggil sebagai talent yang akan sama-sama membangunkan industri angkasa negara kita. Ya. Yeah. Nanti bila korang nak jadi somebody dalam industri angkasa negara, jangan lupa jemput kami ataupun ingatlah kami <laughs> di sini. Okey. Betul betul. Uh, jangan lupa kita uh, orang uh, tau. Ha, uh, <laughs> jangan lupa tau. Okey, baik. Tu dia macam-macam ada. Saya tak ternampak komen daripada mana je. Saya tengok. Hmm. Yes, uh, saya suka uh, Julian ada kongsikan great step forward. Mm-hmm. Really great to see Malaysian government taking space really seriously. Yes, yes. we are serious. Uh, kita serius untuk memastikan negara kita tidak ketinggalan dalam uh, new space economy. Satu ekonomi mm-hmm. angkasa yang nilainya terlalu terlalu tinggi. Kita tak tahu. Betul. Saya tak ingat apa, uh, apa yang uh, DJ Maisa kata uh, Tuan Azli kami pernah bagi tahu kita ketika majlis penutup bulan penuh kat Marih yang lalu di mana okay. beliau mengatakan bahawa teknologi angkasa ni adalah teknologi termaju. Jadi sesiapa yang menguasai teknologi termaju ni dia kita kata hebatlah maksudnya kita tak nak ketinggalan Malaysia tak nak ketinggalan rakyat kita tak nak ketinggalan dengan uh, kita kata teknologi termaju yang kita perlu juga Uh, bangunkan bersama. Betul. Jadi ada ni kita hari ni rakan-rakan kita yang menonton hari ni yang bersama dengan kita uh, saya percaya anda juga ingin menyaksikan negara kita melakar nama dalam membangunkan industri angkasa dan anda juga boleh menyumbang dalam apa jua cara. Uh, Okey. Baik. Saya rasa Betul. kita pun dah sampai ke penghujungnya. Terima kasih banyak-banyak kerana bersama dengan Apa Jangit. Terima kasih semua. Uh, ramailah. Saya, saya nampak komen ni tak henti-henti. Dia orang ni memang aktif waktu petang-petang ni walaupun ada kelas tadi dia, sebab online kan mungkin dia split screen kot. Sebelah saya dengan kita, sebelah dengan kelas kot. Pandai ya. Eh. Saya rasa saya nak jual lah potato chip. Laku katnya kalau dalam ni. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kita jual potato ke angkasa eh. Kenapa jadi? Apa rasa? <laughs> Uh, okay, terima kasih banyak-banyak semua yang ada bersama dengan kami kita Terima kasih Captain Faiz Wow, Captain Faiz ada bersama dengan kita okay. Alright, thank you <laughs> Kita akan bawakan banyak lagi siaran tentang Betul. angkasa lepas, astronomi, teknologi angkasa dan banyak lagi Dan kita ada juga sesi khas untuk bulan Mac ini ha, Bulan Mac ni ada tema ni Ya, kita tema Betul. tu. Apa-apa. Ini adalah starting untuk apakah teasernya sepanjang bulan Mac nanti. Apa program-program yes. yang kita akan buat nanti kan. Kita dah start dah ni untuk bulan Mac, 3 Mac 2021. InsyaAllah yeah. akan datang kita ada lagi program-program dalam sepanjang bulan Mac ni dengan tema yang baru. Kalau bulan lepas kita ke Marih, kali ah. ni kita ke Bumi pula. Kita ah. ke Bumi dan kita kata hint sikit lah. Kita Aku memberi sokongan. 
kita memberi sokongan terhadap satu grup ini uh, grup yang sangat penting yang mana siapakah grup tersebut nanti kan uh, kau orang kena tunggu apa yang cakap ke bumi tu menakutkan saya je <laughs> ke bumi dah tu nak ke mana lagi Uh, okay, uh, baik. Hari tu ramai nangis. Okay, tak apa. Jangan risau. Kami ada. Kami ada dekat sini. Okay, kami ada. Kami tengah menantikan apa tau. Wajib sebab kita tutup. Kita tengah menantikan cadangan-cadangan adik kita ni. Apakah konten untuk kita buat TikTok sebenarnya. Kalau ada nak dikongsikan dengan kita kan. Uh, kongsikan. Okay, kita nak isikan konten-konten yang berkualiti, yang berkaitan dengan angkasa lepas, yang berkaitan dengan Betul. astronomi, teknologi angkasa dan banyak lagi untuk manfaat kita bersama. Uh, uh. Alright. Baik. Jadi uh, saya rasa itu saja untuk sesi kita petang ni. Terima kasih semua yang telah bersama dengan kita sepanjang kita 1 jam 22 minit bersiaran daripada bermula dengan sesi bual bicara bersama empat orang panel kita yang hebat yang uh, kita kata dalam tim Serba Dynamic dalam sesi kolaborasi pada petang ini. Dan kalau hmm. siapa-siapa yang terlepas hmm. boleh tengok semula rakaman ini. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, aha. Rasa tak ada apa lagi yang saya nak kongsikan. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Jangan lupa tak nantikan maklumat terkini daripada apa di langit. Okay, terima kasih banyak Itu sahaja daripada saya, Hafiz Murza, founder Apa di Langit. Dan bersama saya. Dan saya, Amir Hazim bin Kamal Zaman, co-founder Apa di Langit. Kita jumpa lagi dalam sesi akan datang. Hai. Terima kasih.